Hello everyone. Um, I'm Carlos. Today I'm going to share case study, which is um, designed by Wenzel Piano. And this is the um, last case study I, I want to share to you guys um, by Wenzel Piano. And the project name is um, Lingo Two Factory Conversion. To this project original is a uh, building that um, designed in 1920, which is a really old building, and its original function is a uh, uh, man factory, which is um, made a uh, car factory, and after the um, after the corporation uh, said that uh, today we are going to close this factory then this conversion is um, published and Renzo Piano uh, has taken over this conversion job to revitalize these um, factory buildings and today um, it becomes a multifunctional center which bring that city uh, both cultural and residential or lots of different function today so this is a project uh, located in Turin a city of Italy and let's get to the um, table of contents uh, today we have three parts to uh, introduce the first part is the project location where the uh, architecture is located and how is the surrounding looks like and what feature of these sites have and the second is the history timeline we know that this project is a conversion project which is uh, from change from a factory to a multifunctional center and how how is it um, how was it uh, in different period of time and I will explain it later and finally is um, I'm going to show or share two main feature or two symbol of this architecture when Renzo Piano is when, when we revitalize it the first is the of course the flying carpet and the second is the bubble which is uh, uh we know that uh, flying carpet uh, was like and but the bubble is a uh, symbol that um, contain modern structure and using modern material just like uh, steel and glass to giving a symbol to that um, factory and here is the um, location of this project uh, First, um, this is the Turing Center. The city is a uh, city and important business, business and cultural center in the north of Italy, and which is uh, one of the the first important city in Italy. So today's site is uh, one of the district, uh, which name is uh, this one of the district of the city and located in the center of this district here is the um, uh, google map we can see the whole building is um, located uh, in the main circulation which is this one this yellow one is the main circulation which is the train or some metro in that place to uh, look passing through different city of Italy so today's site is located near to that uh, main circulation point and you can see uh, the the factory is totally different from the surrounding the style is totally different from the surrounding you can see the the obvious the most obvious part is the color 
the color of uh, Tang Ste part uh, the lower part is actually um, the, st the style of quicker woman in the Asian time just like uh, if you have an image of Florence you can imagine you can imagine that uh, the color is uh, red and orange S and today's factory is actually a really modern architecture uh, the color and the material is totally different from the tradition of the Italy so that's one of the side uh, factor or side condition and it's located in the one of the main road as I mentioned before next uh, to the history, history timeline uh, there are total three flights and the major major part I will uh, talk about is the middle one which is um, a conversion by Renzo Piano and the first part is um, built by a uh, architect in the start of modern age and the third one is actually a uh, reasons renovations uh, about the roof only only uh, uh, only changing some of the feature of the roof let's start with what looks like in the factory time in the start of the 19th uh, 20th century industrial revolution has become ubiquitous uh, around a lot of factory or uh, some many manufacturing the field of manufacture has popped out and factory is the amount of factory is largely increased so in this uh, city this um, factory is actually the the first modern architecture in that time using uh, modern material uh, using modern outlook and at that time this building is for uh, FI80 one of the uh, most important or most famous car corporation in our days even our days and this is one of the production factory in that time during uh, 1923 and 1982 you can see um, how the you can see this is obvious a uh, uh, car factory because in uh, there is no uh, interior photo of inside but you can see after the production is done the those car can be actually test on the roof because on the roof there is a, a really there is a clear or strong symbol that is a car factory which is uh, the car track there is a car track uh, on the roof that can let uh, those car to be test just like uh, this photo uh, this interior photo is actually the the the, the ring when how the car uh, go to the roof and finally they can test those uh, products in the roof to secure that car is work yes this is the car track and second second part is uh, when the factory is announced to be closed uh, the FIAT the, uh, the fact the corporation wants the buildings uh, be usable then they organize a competition to uh, find people or find architect to design how can it be useful in that time and finally uh, Renzo Piano has won the competition and he changed this factory or car factory to a multifunctional center which have um, plenty of function and I will show you uh, the next few slide this is a section of the factory and it is clearly, clearly, 
clearly shown that um, every function of the multifunctional center from education or business or retail to hotel there it the size of the factory is really anomalous anonymous so Renzo Piano has changed the factory factory to a multifunctional center which contains different function or different space you can see there are some uh, the most two symbol of this uh, the most two famous symbol of this uh, front center is the uh, on the roof the the bubble and the flying carpet which is a uh, which are uh, uh, exhibition area this the flying carpet is uh, exhibition area which is a uh, perfect museum and the second part uh, it, this bubble is a conference room which is for people to have a meeting or on business and here is uh, the some of the interior photo showing uh, what's the function inside you can see there are hotel university and they are common in one point or even more is because um, the exterior of this factory is remains unchanged. Renzo Piano have not making too much uh, renovations on the facade of this factory. He totally changed the interior function, but he also keep some of the feature of the original factory. Uh, just like the, some of the structure he keep the structure of the original factory just like you can see the columns is still are those columns and he merged those structure into uh, ho the hotel and you also can see uh, the shape or the form of the space is actually similar to the uh, factory but it changed to change the function to modern use in this photo you can see the feelings of the original factory inside because this this picture bring you to the to the start of the 20th century and he keep that feelings but change the feelings or change the function totally and here is uh, one of the most beautiful parts I think in the conversion which is um, our office of FIAT FIAT also set up a headquarter in this factory in this uh, center and here is some of the interior inside you can see um, the rooftop is actually a, a feature of Renzo Piano which is using uh, the lower glass so those uh, sunlight can sleep inside and also the the floor height of this space is really high the floor height of this space is high and it gives a sense of wide and and people lee uh doing job inside can actually feel some dramatic light experience just like uh, you can see uh the, art the artificial light is is uh, some of the spotlight and there will be some place that can let nature light slide in and that makes this space become dramatic and this one is one of the most beautiful interior uh, I think for the office for office part uh, I think that 
you can see there is a staircase to pass through to the top and also although although this distance is short because of and the height of the uh, space is, is enough so the feelings will not feel too crowded in this office and the lighting makes the floor become a shining place that um, makes people feel comfortable in this place and here are some other another function which is uh, the shopping mall on the near roof floor you can see uh, the those sunlight easily pass in by those lower rooftop and there is actually a uh, auditorium which is for those mu music organization to have their show and the most obvious feature that the contract is also kept it and it is used it to um, organize some local motorcycle or motorcycle competition and nowadays it's become a, a famous place or a hot spot in that area people uh, go there every day for different reason because there are a lot of things it even have university and authoritarian you can feel that place is full of culture and also fulfill the the business and finally uh, in the recent days uh, and to the the final of the timeline the 2020 is uh, the renovation of roof in recent stay, uh, the roof had uh, is changed to uh, a, a place for public uh, greenery, public leisure area with a uh, pedestrian, which is for people to uh, to walk, and also a bicycle path, which is you can see the color of the color of those track is different is because they are for different function or different user to use this uh, roof garden and on this roof garden you actually can easily see the surrounding because the the height of the around surrounding building is not that high so you can enjoy the city views from this garden and I think this renovation is good. And finally, to the these two big feature, which is flying carpet and the bubble. Uh, flying carpet is a uh, favorite feature of Fenzo Piano, and he think using this flying carpet can create a uh, good experience on light and shadow. It easily can control the the interior, the the lights of interior, and it mainly used it in cultural or museum project which you can see from the uh, previous case study I have shared there are several flying carpet also and there are also museum or some exhibition area yes um, here is to the function of the these two big feature uh, and the first uh, the bubble is a uh, conference wood which is for those business people to uh, talk about their business they can also enjoy the city view and the second the flying carpet is an uh, exhibition area with a uh, precise light tank lighting system by the flying carpet and here are some uh, concept sketch about Wenzel Piano when he is designing this conversion you can see he really want to give a uh, symbol to the original factory because a factory is not that um, a factory with a car track in the roof on the roof is not useful in that time not that useful and so he give uh, another symbol for this factory to change the 
function of the or change this factory to a multifunctional center so he chose to give a uh, send the center a bubble which is a structure that um, contain lots of modern material and modern techno technology and this is the uh, exterior and the interior of the bubble you can see there is a uh, a place that for those helicopter to come in and when you are inside talking about the business you actually can easily see through the whole city the whole Torrent city and here is the plan of the the bubble and the second uh, symbol of this multifunctional center is the flying carpet uh, flying carpet is a favorite, culture, a favorite feature of Benzopian he, he can use that flying carpet to control those lighting precisely because artwork in exhibition area should be protected precisely and lighting control is one of the most important things when we want to preserve those artworks so this flying carpet is actually a uh, lot of small hole which is made by loafer glass you can see in the detailed photos of the flying carpet those sunlight will actually slide in to the exhibition area by, by this kind of structure and here is some of the interior of the uh, museum or of the exhibition area you can see the lighting control is precise by artificial and also the natural of course uh, artificial lights is needed when we uh, when they are considering uh, the, the, the design of exhibition area just like I have said in before, uh, the conservation of the actual is is important and depends on lighting system, and also the natural light is also giving uh, uh, organic feelings for the in the exhibition area because the the space will change depends on the time of the solar different light intensity giving different feelings for the interior and so that Renzo Piano is really like using flying carpet in those cultural or museum project and to the last here are two photos of uh, Renzo Piano and it may be a, a, a stop in sharing of Renzo Piano's design and after I study several Alonso Piano's architecture, I think that um, of course most of the people are, or most of the architect are, they also consider about the lighting, because the lighting is uh, one of the most important nature element. But Alonso Piano, he he has used the flying carpet to control that lights rather than uh, just glass and that's one of the most key feature of Renzo Piano and which is uh, I, I summarize from several case study and the second feature I want to summarize is the the the, the flying uh, Renzo Piano always like flying and this kind of flying carpet is also as a cue that feelings of flying because it's it's it is a roof that are uh, anti gravity and and supported the the lighting system on the roof just like uh here are no this place this area don't have the support and this this give uh, feelings of flying and that's one of the major feature i want to share to you guys during this case study of Renzo Piano. Uh, yes, this is the, the end.
of the Venture Piano Kissity Share.